I need to make an assignment for a class and you're gonna want to make almost all your assignments I would make all my assignments um, and put them on this way it'll go automatically to your students calendar if you have an announcement block that's an assignment announcement block it will go automatically into that the students are gonna see this on their front page and um, it's just a better way of doing it. Now, the thing is, there's different ways of doing an assignment. And there's different ways that you can have it graded online, not graded online. Go straight to the gradebook, not go to the gradebook if you just want to post an assignment. So, let's start on it. Um, I'm going to go to the class that I want to create the grade, or the assignment. And the first assignment I'm going to do is just a regular, what I do for sociology. So I'm going to go to, here's my class, the Autry Test class, and I'm going to go to Activities, and I'm going to click Assignments. Um, there's different ways to get there, but this is the one I like. And once I get to the Assignment page, I'm just going to add an assignment. And what I normally do for Psych is that I just give them the assignment that they need to do. So I think that almost everybody who does this like in social studies, science, um, and in math are just going to have pages. This is what you want. Here, if you wanted to grade by a rubric, which I don't, I would put the rubric here. I have several of them, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to leave it blank. And here I can give some extra um, instructions like make your own Google Doc. Okay. And then I need to put the due date, which I'm going to make the third. And I do want my students to work online. If I didn't, I would uncheck that. I also wanted to go to the Power Teacher Pro gradebook, so I'm going to leave that check. If I don't want it in there, I would take it off. And then I'm going to give it worth 16 points. Okay. I also wanted to show in that assignment block, so I'm going to click since I already have it there it gives me that choice if you don't have it there um, look on how to make a content block but it, um, to choose that to get that going but here's this assignment block it's my on my first page and I don't want to do anything else I'm gonna hit save the next thing I can do is if I want to create an assignment where um, I want to use the rubric and I want to use a handout. So I'm going to go, I'm going to stay on this assignment page and I'm going to click add an assignment. And I want them to do the book report. And I want to use the new book report rubric that I've created. So I'm going to put it there. I have nothing I want to say about what to do other than um, use the handout worksheet. And I want to do, normally I wouldn't want to do tomorrow. I'm going to want them to work online. If I didn't, if I just wanted to go on the calendar, I'm going to click unclick that. And if I don't want it, maybe I'm doing this for um, actually for formative. I don't want it in grade, but I would uncheck that. But I do. And it's going to be worth 40 points. And I do want it to show in the assignment blocks is the first page but here's the tricky thing is I want to assign it to, from a Google Doc so I'm gonna go here click on that and since it's I've been working on it it's already there but I could do a search for a book report but usually the last thing you've pop worked on it pops up and so um, I'm gonna find that and get it going and I'm going to hit select now I'm not done yet I want this to be read only they can collaborate I can make it so it's a classroom project where they can collaborate or comment or whatever but I only I want them to leave my worksheet alone I want it read only but I want them to have their own and to do that I have to check the handout and then again again hit save and there's the book report. Now, if I'm one of my students in this class, and I'll show you what happens when I go there. She's going to sign in just like I normally do.
And right down here is her two, um, it shows on her front page the two things that she needs done. Notice that the, the calendar has a little blue three for the th things that are due. So if I click on that three, I guess it's not going to work. That gives me an, an idea when it's due. But I can also go to my classes, which she's only got one class with. And here are the assignments right here. So she can actually hand in, if she's got it ready, because she, they're making using the own Google Sheets, she can click there. She can go to the calendar and see kind of see what else is there. Parents can look at the calendar. She can actually click on that. It takes her to the assignment. There's a whole bunch of ways that she can get to this assignment. So when she gets that, let's say she has her book report done, she's going to click Hand In. So she's going to choose a file from Google Drive because she did it in Google Drive. And there's her book report. So she's going to click on that and she's going to click Select. She's going to also click the Hand In. So she's got her, it says her book reports hand in. So if she's still, if I go back to being me, I'll show you what happens when I see it. When I go back, I go back to the class that I assigned that. And again, I see my assignments because I created the assignment block. And I can go to see view work on this one, or I can see view work on the book report. And I'm going to say let's view work on the book report. Otherwise, I can go to it through activities, get to the assignment. And notice it says that my one student, Tricky, Trixie, has done it. I got one new. So I'm going to click on that. And here's her book report. So I can grade it. Um, she says that um, that this makes sense. The main character. If I don't like something, I can highlight it and and click on this and say add more to this. Whatever I want to do, she can fix this. I'm gonna, she's going to get things back saying that she needs to fix things. I'm going to see things. It's just like if she had the actual way of doing the book report before. Okay, so here's the theme, share the talent. I'm going to say need to support your theme with evidence from the book. Hit the comment, and now I have actually did this, check this thing, I can actually use to put a grade in. So here if I click the grade, should be able to see, there, click the book report, and here comes my rubric. Okay, remember the rubric I added to it? I can add comments, I can click on this to make it bigger. But I'm going to just for sake click all these. It'll see if I go here, it'll show me what level, easy, fairly easy, plot, conventions. Let's say she needed to work on those. Here's all the things that I was grading on. Oop, I didn't grade some of these. I was wondering why her score was so low. And then I can say send a grade book. It's going to go, that score is just going to go automatically to the grade book. I don't have to do anything. I'm done. It goes automatically back to her. And it shows that it's been graded. So that's one way of grading something in that. It goes automatically to the grade book. And everything works out for Trixie.